Hello, this is Dixie with DC Papercraft doing a video tutorial for Scrappin' in the City. And we are focusing on punches for the month of November and December, or the months of November and December. So these are the products that we're going to use. Sew ribbon, twinkle goose bumps for some bling. Um, all three of these papers are from Lily Bee, their Christmas line. They are in the store. Some cardstock and the knockout punches, the regular set, not the Christmas set. So let's get going here. And again, this is the card that we're making. Just It's really simple. It's really cute. Set that over there so that I can remember what I'm doing. First thing we're going to do is punch our papers. So I am going to grab the first punch that I need, which is this um, zigzag chevron. You can see I'm pulling out my guides and my punch. Set that out of the way a little bit. This just slides right down in there. Name goes in the front. And on the back of one of these, there'll be a letter. This one says B. Flat edge goes towards the punch. And this little divot here goes in. You can't put it in wrong because if you try, it will just not go in all the way. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to punch this edge with my zigzag punch. And there's not a wrong or right way to do this, but it's best if you line up your punches the same way every time. So I like to line up with the edge of my guide here. That's just what I do. When you play with it, you'll learn your own methods. And then you slide it over, line it up, punch again, and then I need to go over here and line up, and punch again. Oh, see, I missed one. That happens. Line it up. There we go. Okay, let me move my garbage out of the way. So there's my first layer. And I'm going to go ahead and punch my white paper. And the reason that I added this was I found that my punches kind of blended into the busy paper. So I wanted to draw attention to it and adding a layer of white um, and just another layer helped to bring attention to the fact that the edge was punched. Okay, so there's that one. And then we're just going to change it out for the next one. These just pop out of the bottom and slide back in. This is really a well-designed system. I like it. And we are going to do this border. That says B. Flat edge goes towards the middle. Name goes in front. And we're ready to punch the Santa Claus paper. Again, I'm just going to line it up. Line it up. And last one. Oh, missed it. I mean, that's just a little awkward to do sitting down. I'm used to doing it. Actually, I do most of my scrapping standing up. Let's see if I got it that time. Yep. Okay. And again, I need to punch a white strip. Line it up down there. Make sure my papers are flush against the back so that it punches nice. Alrighty. Oh, messed that up somehow. As you can see, I'm not the most experienced puncher. I'm learning. That's okay. And then our last piece is going to be just the straight scallop. So I'm going to trade out my pieces here off camera, I guess. Sorry about that. This one says A. See the hole? It just goes. It goes all the way through, and that's what I used to. Oops, putting it in wrong. Punch it out again. Okay, I'm ready to go. Sorry, I'm probably wiggling this camera frame all around. Okay. And we are done with that. 
and we are ready to assemble a card. So I'm going to use this until it just completely runs out, which will probably be, actually I'm going to wait and use that for the ribbon. I'm going to use the glossy accents. This is my favorite glue. I have just always come back to it. I'm going to run a strip of glue down the back and match up my, let's see, I'm just going to offset it just a tiny bit just so you see it poking out there. And we'll cut that edge off here in a minute. And then run a strip there. Should have done it on the same side, huh? I want to offset this just a little bit. With this glossy accents, you do get a little bit of playtime. Which is good because I always need a little bit of playtime. Okay, I'm going to grab my scissors and be right back. Thanks to the ladies who were in my last class that swore by these. I love these scissors. I don't know why it took me so long to buy them. Just love them. All right, and we are ready to glue everything down to our card base. So I'm going to start with the bottom layer. And put it just slightly. I want it to overhang the bottom because I don't want to lose my scalloped edge, but I need the strength. If people, people like to stand their Christmas cards up especially. And I'm just thinking about yep, that's about where I want it, right there. So, glue. Line up my edges. Make sure I'm in the right place. Yep. And last. Mm. We need to figure out what we're doing with our ribbon first before we add that on. The sew ribbon which I've been, well, I'll show you in some other cards. I love this velvet ribbon on the top. I've already tied it the way that I want it. I just wanted to show you that I pre-tie some of mine, especially when I'm trying to conserve it. And then I'll just cut it in half and wrap it around this piece where I want it. And this is where I want this ATG gun attach the ribbon to the back. It's just about out. Okay, let's attach the ribbon and then I really want to use that glue, don't I? Okay, I want it to come down just below that chevron or just almost below the chevron. Press it into the tape. into the tape. Alright, now I'm going to add some liquid glue on top of this. And line up the top edge. Oh, I've got glue and tape going here. All right, almost done. We just need a little bit of bling down here at the bottom. These are the twinkle goosebumps. And I'm just gonna use these dots here to, well, really I pulled the adhesive off. We'll move along to something. Another one, here we go. Try to center them in these these dots. There we go. All done. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Hope you have fun crafting. This is Dixie with DC Papercraft for Scrapping in the City.